friends, it's me. How exciting. Dean got it all to work with like the intro screen and like going live at the same time as like actually talking. So that's exciting. Um, look, I'm finishing up the belly on my little uh, fox here. He's so cute. And um, yeah, so how's everyone been doing? Today is the sixth. So we've been doing these lives for five days. This is number six. It's pretty exciting. Um, I think, so for December, we did the whole like vlogmas thing where we did it every day. We did a video. Um, I kind of like the lives a little bit better. I think um, it's a little easier to do. I don't know. I don't know. Well, logistics is sometimes very interesting because you never know where we're going to be. But the like, I'm excited about doing something and saying something seems to be a lot easier. Hello, hello. Uh, welcome in. And uh, Dean is got Instagram up on the computer over here. He's over here. He might stick his arm in and wave in a second. Yeah, there he is. Because we're hanging out together tonight. So we are at our apartment, our studio apartment in uh, Eureka. And today I was very, I enjoyed the company of my knitting group here in Eureka. So um, we had a really nice time hanging out um, at the community center. So um, yeah, uh, we meet there every, every first and third Tuesday from 10 until noon. Um, and today I got to do some extra stuff about the Eureka Fiber and the Ozarks um, event that's coming up. We sold our last Friday night ticket today. So that's all sold out now. And um, oh, I'm going to get in the mail. These are fun. We got new stickers for Eureka, for Yarn Adventures. So those will be up on the website, I think. Do you put those stickers on the website? We don't put those stickers on the website. All right, I lied. Uh, but we do put a lot of our stickers on the website. So those will be on the truck whenever you come and see us the next time. So, um, yeah. And... I got to go to the bank today. That was fun. It's always nice to put money in the bank. So, um, looking for scissors. They're in here somewhere. We'll find them. <laughs> and let's see. We have been. Dean had to go back to work today, which was meh, but the end is in sight. The hot mess I've got going with this stupid shawl. Okay. All right. Anita, you're going to have to just bring the shawl to somewhere. So Anita has commented that she needs to join a group to uh, help have somebody, like, sit there with her for a little while. And I think we can totally make that happen for you. Um, so, like I said, Eureka has a group that meets the first and third Tuesdays. And then um, in over in northwest Arkansas, you – I. Don't remember exactly where you are, but um, so there's always a group that meets there, and then there's a group that meets at the library sometimes here in Eureka as well. So I'm not exactly sure of those dates, but you all you can probably call up there and they can tell you. Um, I'm looking for scissors, as I do. They're never where I put them. Found them. I found some scissors. Um. Well, and if not, you can always get in touch with me, and I'll be happy to meet you sometime. I'm free tomorrow, so or at least in the afternoon. So let me know if you need something. Um, we have been. What did I do today? I went and ate at Eureka Eats and Sweets, and it's adorable, super cute little place. And if you go, I highly recommend the. The turkey. turkey. The cranky turkey sandwich. That's the one I like. It's like a Thanksgiving dinner. 
and it's delicious. I had ma the garlic mashed potatoes for my side today. It really was like Thanksgiving dinner in my heart. It's awesome. Um, so yeah, and um, if you're here, say hello. Um, I am on a mission to try um, all the new restaurants. There's a few other new ones around or ones that I just haven't been to yet um, for lunch um, before Eureka this year so that I can like recommend um, it recommend different places when uh when that comes around so yeah um what else has been going on not a lit yeah a lot of eureka stuff we've been organizing classes and um today i learned about a new fiber retreat that's going to be happening pretty soon um that was, so that's pretty exciting uh, it'll happen in the fall and it will be around here. So, um, when I know more about that and how that's going to come together, I will be happy to let you know. Um, so yeah. And yeah, that's about all I've done today. Ooh, I watched this thing on TV. Um, because we don't really have TV. We have Hulu live. Um, but like. It's the only thing I can really watch while I'm sitting here because we don't actually have a TV in the apartment. Um, our TV sold with our house, so that's exciting. Look at your little belly. I'm gone. I'm very distracting. Uh, let's see. I'll pull out the uh, actual box here. And you can see how much crocheting I've done. His little belly's going to go here. Isn't he cute? Little eyeballs. Doesn't look like a fox yet. But he will soon. He really will, don't you think? Yeah. He's getting there. He does kind of look like a porg right now. Good thing I like porgs. I think they're cute. We have a colorway on the truck that's called porgs. It's self striping. Problems, Problems with porgs. And it's a self striping. It's super cute. It's from Brenda and Heather Yarns, whom we love. Hi, Brenda and Heather. Oh, Anita says, okay. Anita says that she's hoping her friend will be back and that maybe <laughs> the yarn, wrong yarn and pattern combo. You know, that happens. Um, yeah, it's really, like, that is hard to do. Like, picking out the right yarn for the right project can be really frustrating. Uh, this Woobles yarn is very interesting. It's like a hollow tube spaghetti style yarn so it's nice because when you're learning to crochet like um you don't have any like extra plies to catch as you're crocheting which is great but it's just not my favorite to play with so i'm not a huge fan but that's okay we all learn things wookie's gonna get a dog blanket i think that is the that is awesome yeah, this fox is coming along. I think he will. Uh, he'll get it. He'll get it together. It'll. It'll come together soon. So I did get to work on my socks today. Like I said, I was at the knit group. Um, we had a nice turnout. Um, so that was awesome. And um, it was nice to see a few people because I've missed a bunch of uh, missed a bunch of the meetups this lately. So due to weather and just being out of town. And um, also today, my knit group in um, Rogers met at Rick's Bakery, and that's really loud. Um, they had a good time, it sounds like, from what I could see um, and heard about. So that's awesome. And oh, so last night we were talking about how at the end of the night, um, they were working, my, the people that were at my knit group last night at the winery were doing, um, that's for you. Uh, trying to get knit companion loaded on Linda's computer. And it actually ended up working because she could run an app, um, through like Amazon or something. You could download the app onto the computer and to the desktop. And so it, it was running as an app on her desktop. And we got everything working. So you can do that and you can use your subscription or transfer your subscription to there. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, Cause I do like using knit companion for like charts and stuff. So um, 
one of the projects I'm working on is this fully charted sweater. Can you hear me that over here? Um, no, it's the purple bag you tried to give me a while ago. So while I'll go, I was like, hey, Dean, can you hand me this thing? It's in the purple bag. And he hands me this bag from Black Pearl Magic, which is lovely. Uh, and what I was like, no, the other purple bag. This bag. <laughs> because, you know, everybody has at least, you know, three purple project bags, right? That makes total sense in their lives. Um, just as much as it does mine. So uh, what is awesome about that is the knit companion is really cool. So I'm working on this sweater. And it's called Pagan Sky. And it's lovely. But you can see basically every size has a different color chart, color work chart. So um, what is really awesome about like the paid version of Knit Companion is that you can essentially put my hand over in the middle of it so you can't like see like, the echo pattern. Um, but basically I'm able to like chart, pick out my chart. And then what's really cool about this is that if I touch the little button over here at the side, it'll advance everything by like one row. So let me do, I don't know if I can do this without being like, she does a beautiful job on these patterns. Okay, um, so if I hit the button, like it moves my chart up a line, like, and it moves my highlighted up, which is really cool. And it's like way smarter than me. So um, yeah, anyway, and it keeps up with where I'm at. And then I can just have, just the pages that I need in my pattern like so I pulled out specifically my sizes and then I can have my highlighter just on those things and then I specifically like my two my techniques that I needed um, for like tubular cast on and um, those kind of things so um, excellent pattern though if you're looking for one it's called pagan sky and there's a full schematic and a lovely chart and it's um, pretty customizable so um, yeah, I really like the pattern. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, is there a good picture over here? Yes, there's one. So that's the good finished picture. It's not a pretty, yeah, I know so many bags. Dean is making fun of me. <laughs> there are so many bags in our life. It's true. We've, we've practiced bagception for a long, long time in our lives. So, um, if uh oh awesome um, let me read this really fast so we got a message from um someone down at oh, i'm not sure anyway they just started some with our lowlander yarn that we used to that we carried from um jackie it, up in Springfield that she was dying and uh, they just started a beautiful crochet project and it looks like it has like really cool cables and it's just lovely it looks beautiful so thank you so much for sharing oh it's Molly um her husband put together a custom box at Christmas oh. just for us uh, just from us and so we like he goes I want something from her for Molly and she crochets and these are the colors she likes and so, and this is my price point. And so we built her a custom box. And so um, this was the yarn that we had in there, in that box. I remember that now. And it looks absolutely stunning. Let me see if I can, can I pull up the picture? Yeah, okay. Isn't that nice? Oh, looks like, there we go. So it's looking really good. She's doing a beautiful job. Thank you for sharing, Molly. We appreciate that. Um, thank you. This sweater is really pretty. Um, I really, I actually do like working on it. I added, I don't know, probably like four or five rows to it a few weeks ago when I was at a knitting retreat. Um, my floats are a little messy. They're not too bad. They're pretty good. Um, anyway, so, um, it's something I've been working on and I'm almost to the sleeve divide. So, um, this pattern is interesting because the patterning continues after the sleeve divide. So like you have still continue to have full pattern on the sleeve and on the chest after the sleeve divide. So um, it's kind of an interesting setup, which I don't know how I feel about. Also, this is all the gray yarn I have left. So um, being 
cautiously optimistic that I will be able to complete this project with the amount of yarn that I have because I don't have the label for this one, nor did I note in my Ravelry what color gray it was, so I can't even buy more gray. <laughs> so um, I'm not really sure what was going on there with that idea, but obviously sometimes we make mistakes. Um, so we have had a really great day of doing lots of fun stuff. So here's my socks so far. I finished that dark purple stripe and I'm half, almost done with the uh, smaller purple stripe. So um, that's nice. And um, we are getting, like their balls are much smaller now. So I think, so we're like right here in the color stripe and we're going to um, here. So that's how many stripes we have left. Which is not terrible. And since my stri since my um, calves are getting bigger, so like I've added more stitches across the back now, um, my rows are taking up more of my stripes. So um, so my stripes are getting skinnier. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so yeah, when I play yarn chicken, it's just like the worst. Like what what was I thinking that I didn't um, that I didn't note at least the colorway. Like, I know it's gray. I know it's light gray. But do you know how many different colors of silky wool are gray and specifically light gray? There's four. There's four different light gray colors in silky wool. And so I'm like, well, and I know that all of them were for sale at this shop where I bought this yarn at that time. So I'm not really sure what color it is. So that's okay. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, and uh, we are having a really good time doing this. So there are, don't forget, if you are popping in just to say hi, to post your 29 minutes for 29 days hashtag. Um, actually, I'm going to set that banner to going. Oh, darn. Um, I need this having internet problems. Um, and then tag at Yarn Adventure Truck on any of the three platforms that we're streaming to. Um, you can comment below on any of the videos or you can make your own posts and just make sure and tag us so that we can find it. Um, and then we are doing, we're tracking all the comments and everything so that we can do a prize goodie draw, bag drawing at the end. So that's exciting. Um, I don't know what's going in that goodie bag yet, but I can tell you those stickers are probably going in there. Um, <laughs> those pretty shiny stickers that are super awesome. And um, yeah, so let's see. I've been talking for 18 minutes. That's good. Um, oh, did I miss it? Oh. Ah, that's awesome. I, you know, I thought that yarn looked familiar. Uh, Kim, Kim Lyson says that it's the hummingbird moon over the moon sock yarn, um, in the season of the witch color, which I think we have like one of those left, well, at least one or two of those color, colorways left. That's and, um, yeah, that's her finger snips. Um, and she bought it when the yarn truck came to Salem, which is my hometown. So, um, which I'm sure we will back, be back soon. And Kim, I hope you can make the drive over for um eureka fiber in the ozark because it's not very far really really it's not so um yeah <laughs> um yeah so i love that colorway though and i'm so glad it does look really really good thank you for sharing with us i had commented on her photo the other day about how her fingers knits really so great and the colorway really is fantastic um let's see I think I'm patterning on this row. I am. Okay. <laughs> I am doing a pattern on this row, guys. Sometimes you have to really study this stuff. And, like, this is probably the best lighting I've had for a video, like, I don't know, the entire time I've done one of these. When you're, like, sitting in one spot and there's not 20 people talking around you. Yeah. Last night may have been a little loud. Sorry. I don't know. We were having a good time, though. There was a pretty good knit group going on last night. We had We had quite a few people there, so. It's kind of nice to have. Huh? The mic helps. Yeah, having the mic on really does help. So, 
Um, because I think last night, like, it would have been a real problem if I hadn't had the mic on. So that's very helpful. Um, I am taking, so I can only stay on for about 10 more minutes and then I'll switch. I have to, I'm attending a um, mending class. So I want to finish this row and then I'll show you guys my mending. Um, so it's Renbird Arts um, or Renbird Men's and it's Erin Eggenberg. And she is a uh, fiber artist out of the Pacific Northwest. And she makes the coolest um, like stick and stitch patterns for like embroidery and shishiko, sashiko style, um, you know, sewing. And she um, it's teaching a class all about mending and doing darning. So and I have I took it. It's a five week course all about different darning techniques. And so I'm working on that. And um, we meet on Tuesday nights. And so that's why this week and I think next week. I think next week um, I'll come out a little early just because that's when um, my class is at seven. So I like to I do like to attend it like she records it and all, but it's just really hard to to attend like later on and actually like complete something. I just get really distracted and not finishing those things. So I um, have been working on this lovely green like dark green um cashmere sweater that a friend of mine gifted me um just specifically to mend and practice my mending on and show off different styles of mends so um i've been working on that and i'm really excited about learning different techniques because i like to teach them in my other classes so at the end of the month on february 24th i will be in austin or round rock Texas and we'll be at the um, Austin sewing machine and quilting shop. Did I get it right. Sewing machines and quilting shop. And that's in Round Rock. And um, the Austin Modern Quilt Guild is meeting there and we use their classroom space. And um, I'm teaching two workshop sessions of uh, mending basics. So we'll be covering um, a couple of different. Uh, darning techniques, Sashiko style mending, a little bit of needle felting with mending, and just some general like embroidery techniques to use for things. Jazz, oh no. That's so weird. I don't understand why sometimes things don't let us comment. Jazz says that YouTube wouldn't let her comment. Okay, I'll pick it up. I don't know why. Sorry. I'm glad you're here though. It's so nice to see you. How is your project going? She's making a tiny duck, guys. Oh my gosh, that Dot Pebbles duck is so adorable. If you haven't heard of Dot Pebbles, you should be checking them out on Ravelry or whatever platform you like. Um, they make the cutest little animal designs. So, um, like patterns. And they're, I don't know if you guys have seen it around, but there's a... Uh, there's a frog and a toad and they go on adventures and they have wiring in them. I'm pretty sure Jazz has made the frog um, mainly because I remember her asking me about some of the techniques and how to do it. Um, <laughs> that's all I can remember. Um, but yeah, so she has the cutest patterns um, for these adorable little animals and she does offer them free sometimes on Fridays. I think she, if you're on her newsletter list. Um, oh, good. Um, that Facebook is allowing commenting. So, um, we, uh, I really think those are just the most adorable patterns and you do learn a lot and you do a lot of like little technique work, but it's a really cool opportunity to use some really cool colors and some really good textures of yarn. So like pairing it with like mohair or, or surrey to add some texture to your kitty or your bunny or whatever. And, um, so I really think those patterns are super neat if you get a chance to see that and Dean might post a link to Dot Pebbles, maybe. I don't know. He did to the to the restaurant earlier, so he's on it. Uh huh. That's her. Yeah, the Etsy shop will work. Um, she has an Etsy shop. She also has a Ravelry store, and she's on Instagram as Dot Pebbles. Adorbs. <laughs> Dot Pebbles knits. Um, yes. 
So, okay, Jess, you missed it earlier. Or maybe you didn't. But I did crochet. And Sarah from Winterstrom can also see that I did that. Is she commenting at all on Instagram? I'll show off my crochet. I did it, guys. I did it. I did crochet. I did a crochet. Look, I made his little belly. So I'm going to sew that on. And then I'll knit his nose. Or crochet his nose. And his tail and his ears. So, yeah. I'm getting there. I'm just slow. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with being slow. Just taking time with our craft, you know? And that's what the 29 minutes is all about, is to take time with our craft and enjoy it. So, I think that's what we need to do. Um, maybe March will be a sweater knit along. What do you guys think? Seems like, God, you're doing more of this? <laughs> No, um, March may not be every day just because we do have a lot going on with the festival. So it's a lot to to manage, especially in the evenings. So, but we will do more. Crochet is awesome, Sarah. I I really I'm not very good at it just because I don't have don't practice a lot. Um, I can be good at it if I try. Um, I'm just a lot happier with my knitting. So, um, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with that either. Uh, I saw a video on Instagram or something today about um, that people debate over whether which one's better, knitting or crocheting. And I'm like, they both have a really great marriage. So I don't think that we should um, really rank them over each other. So that's okay. You don't have to learn knitting either. <laughs> she hasn't learned. She says she hasn't learned knitting yet. Yet. We're going to give you yet because it's always a possibility. When I met Jazz, she hadn't. She was just learning how to knit then, and now she's like done a sweater and like she knits toys and shawls and all kinds of things. So um, you have a lot more options of um, kind of. I think that there are a lot of really really great patterns out there that you can do both with now. So a lot more options than there used to be. Okay. Um, if you, oh yeah, the Tunisian is fun. Um, I have not perfected my Tunisian yet, mainly because I'm like barely holding on with my crochet technique. So, <laughs> and I'm not sure I have the time right now, but I'm definitely, um, I, one of our friends, she has, uh, did a Tunisian cowl for me to put on the truck and it's lovely. Um, so I love the way it looks. Um, because it gives me that knit feel without, and I think it's really accessible for most people because there are some super good tutorials out there. So if you're really looking into to, to Tunisian, um, teal yarn crafts, right? Sarah says she made a small rug when the pom pom yarn came out. Yeah, <laughs> it was the beginning and the end. <laughs> pom pom yarn is not the best to knit with. We're going to get you some good yarn. We'll get you some good yarn. I think you'll feel better about your knitting. How does that sound? We'll try that. Um, yeah, good yarn makes all the difference for sure. It's just more enjoyable. Runs through your fingers better. Pom-pom yarn does not run through anyone's fingers. It is never, um, never a thing that I think people are like <laughs> really excited to work with a second time. Um, it does make some really cool textures, though, I have to admit. And visually, it's terribly interesting. So um, if you're going for that visual effect, then it is definitely worth it. Okay. I'm going to make this stitch and I have two more. And then um, I'm going to have Dean Harry my uh, mending, and I'm going to show off that. And then, yep, yeah, no, um, it's in the bag. Yeah, it's in the bottom. Like the other bag. Can't you just hear him now? Being like, look guys, another bag. Oh yeah. It is nice because you know where to put your needle all the time. Okay, so this is this beautiful green cashmere sweater. It's 100% cashmere and it's just ridiculous, okay? So I've it's covered in moth holes though. So they found it in, in the drawer when they moved and like, it is just, yeah. So I've been working on darning. 
doing all these really cool darning things. So this was a technique I learned last week, like a little spider web. And I learned um, this surface darn. It's called Twills. So that one's pretty cool. And I can do shape surface darning. That's another twill. And then um, this is a stitchy darn, which I think is super pretty. I like it. I need to go the other way now. I haven't finished this one yet. <coughs> um, but there are all kinds of holes in this, so I don't know if you can tell where all the holes are or not. But if I like hold it up to the light, usually you can see the holes. I think I'm going the wrong way. I don't think, yeah, it won't really show off here. But um, so I'm working on this. And if you come see me in uh, Round Rock, it will probably be on display because I'm hoping to have a little more done on it by then. So um, I think we're going to be talking about, I don't know what techniques we're talking about tonight. I didn't look. I did not prepare for my class. Yeah, I have fun. It's a lot of fun to sit here and stitch for an, a couple hours and do that. So, all right. It's been 30 minutes and I am got three minutes to get to my class. So I'm going to sign off and uh, I will see you all tomorrow, seven o'clock right here on all these lovely platforms. And I can't wait to see what you guys have been working on. So have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Bye.